All right, guys. So today, uh, the day this is being uploaded is um, October twenty fourth, which is the day um, Windows XP was officially released to the public. Um, I think it was released in like I think it was like August as well. It was released to like uh, manufacturing. I'm pretty sure around. I think it was August then. But yeah, so this is just like the main release. I've been doing. I'm gonna do it on this day. So I know a couple of people did on the manufacturing day, but I still consider the official release to the public. I'm pretty sure that's the day. Uh, this Windows XP theme, uh, you've seen a couple of my other videos. I'm going to sh uh, just take a tour around this and show you all the stuff. And yeah, um, you can see the recycling. This is it's empty. I'm sorry about these files. Got to remove this. Got to remove this file. Sorry. And there's this bug where it's uh, not appearing as it's um, full. I don't know why. That's a weird bug with the icons. I don't know why. Because that's happened before. I think it's normal. But yeah, you can hear the sounds, hopefully. Hopefully you heard that. should appear. If it doesn't, I'll, I'll edit in, but I'm pretty sure it should appear. Or not really appear. Okay, I'm starting to speak gibberish. I'm sorry. Alright, so you've got all these icons. You've got the profile, you've got the music, the documents. These are normal pop up. I'll leave a couple of links in the description to other videos. Uh, so yeah, the taskbar, as you probably guessed, it's from Retro Bar right here. Which is um, all this. And... um. If you saw before when I opened that up, we actually got the these buttons, and this isn't a theme. This is a Stardock window blinds for Windows 10, not a Windows 11. So I'll leave a link to that, and someone made this um experience experience theme, which is like Windows XP, which is XP means experience. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, they did that. That's awesome. That's the main reason I brought this. It's, it is paid. Um, uh, there is a couple problems I had with Retrobar. Um, this happens on Windows 11. Um. So, if you have, um, I think it's Open Shell now, it's called. Here, it doesn't appear. Here, it's correct, but if I open, like, it's because, oh, you kind of saw it there. There we go. This, this is weird, because the XP one, it isn't, it isn't as tall as the regular Windows 10 one. So, yeah, that's happened on Windows 11 as well. I don't know. Sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. I have no idea how it works. Uh, but, yeah. And you got click here to begin, and yeah, the startup thing, as I, so, I said before, it isn't exactly right, but it's pretty close. I, I wish I could change it, make it look more better, but I don't know how to. Maybe another program. I think um, start is back is another one. I think that might be closer. But this one's got the search feature, so I really like that it's got the search feature instead of, instead of navigating through the programs there. And if you think, of course, this is Windows 10, you can obviously tell, but if someone's saying, oh, this is actually Windows XP, and you, you've reskinned it, make it look like Windows 10, and you've faked it, we'll go run command. Here, Windows 10, 21H1. I don't, I, th I think that's the latest one. I don't know. I, sh I just updated, so I'm pretty sure that is the latest one. But yeah, I know, Win I'm pretty sure Startup Window Blinds has had a couple issues with um, Windows 21H1. But yeah, I don't really think there's much to show. Oh, paint as well. This is like the old paint, I'm pretty sure. Man, remember old paint. I used a different program. I used KidPix as um, a child. Um, hopefully you remember that. I think it was KidPix 2 Deluxe. That's the one I used. That's a classic. I should I should do a, a nostalgic trip video. I've got two nostalgic trip videos that I filmed ages ago. And I haven't uploaded them. Those are probably going to go go up probably like February 2022. Nah, hopefully not. But you've got the old paint. I'm pretty sure old paint hasn't even really changed much. But you can just draw whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, this is cursed. Alright, then we're going to try compare it to paint nowadays. We'll go paint 3D. This is the one I usually use to edit my thumbnails and all that. Well, it doesn't really look wooden like that. What's this? Oh, that's why because... My resolution. We got all these. The regular paint has all these. And for equality, we've got to go with do all of them. All the markers, spray paint. And yeah, this is how I usually do all my thumbnails. I usually do the text. Blah blah XP. Go change the font and all that. But yeah, it has some weird, weird bugs in it where it just shifts the image slightly and all that. Hopefully, you recognize that. And yeah, you got the, the sound as well. And let's go show you this. The shutdown menu. If I actually press shut down, it will shut down the computer. 
And I think this weird bug is, um, you have to do some files. I can't be bothered to do that. Hibernate, standby, pressing shift and control. There's the ding. That's classic, that sound, along with the sub. I don't, I don't have the shutdown sound. I can't get it to work. I've done, like, this thing in the task schedule to schedule it to play the sound. I think I did get it to play the Windows 10 one, but I couldn't get it to play the... Windows XP one, so I don't know how to do that, so, um, I don't know, maybe it only plays at certain times, like when I restart, or when I just shut down randomly to plays, I have no idea. But yeah, you got all this, uh, did I sh yeah, I did show you the recycling, now we are going to compare this to the real one, actually before we do that, uh, we're gonna go, and we're gonna see the, um, the little boxes here are different than the regular Windows 10 one, if I exit Retrobar, this is the native, um, start off window blinds one other than this uh start menu because um the one that the uh ex experience pack came that looks uh, i'm not gonna say, i don't want to be too harsh but to say say lightly it doesn't look very good it just looks a little strange if i can put a picture on the screen i'll do uh, on the screen i'll do that but yeah it just does not look very good and it's like it looks weird like it's only in like the corner of the of the of the task bar so i just use the regular I've changed this through the uh, classic shell or open shell. I've added the regular Windows XP one, but I didn't do the taskbar texture. I left the taskbar just to not change it. But here we go. Normal. Windows XP. I don't have this. That would be awesome. I think some Windows builds you can, depending on it. There's the startup sound. And yeah, you've got all this. This is the... I don't know what aspect ratio. I'm just going to say 4x3 since it looks like it, even though it probably isn't. There you go. There's stretched. I don't want to do that. Oh, sorry for all these junk stuff again. You can see it just works like that normally. I don't know why. It's just when you change the icon. There, you've got the same sound. And yeah. So you can compare this. This is, of course, low quality. Basically, I think this is someone's... um. 4k um upscale or remake of it and i've stretched the image for 16 by 9 as well and it looks pretty good though and i also made i did the welcome screen as well for the 16 by 9 i got that i got the same windows xp this is more high quality i think but this might be just the rat aspect ratio and i had no idea what these briefcase things were until i opened this up so yeah so this access ratio is 1024 by 768. I don't think that's... Well, I don't... Uh, whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you can compare the taskbar. Click here to begin. This one is start, but if I go to the retro byte, it'll come up with click here to begin. You can compare the start windows. I forgot to say, for the... For some reason, if I do the retro bar, if I activate it, I'm having this weird, the weird bug again. If I activate it, um, and then I turn off and or restart the computer, it'll just automatically turn off hide, hide ta taskbar in desktop mode. I have no idea why that happens, but I have to turn it off, so that's why I don't use it. But it does look pretty good. Alright, just look at this. And yeah, I think I could have used, um, old explorer experience um that pack recommended me to use it but um i didn't use it so yeah i could have probably gotten better results with that and i probably could have hide it but i don't really care the other thing i would have really liked is this blue this sidebar that looks really nice i just love that man i use i grew up with windows xp and windows 7 and yeah i love both of them sad that i think like like cut off xp on win on the internet now uh, recently a couple weeks ago but anyway let's go on to the next one and yeah yeah the next one being the next as you saw on the th thumbnail and title i guess the windows japanese 20th edition version so let's do that all right so here we are with the 20th version the japanese version i've uh, so, oh, just junk again all right actually we can actually show off the Sound, let's hope this plays. That is satisfying. I don't know, it's not changing again. I think, uh, 
the cork on it should disappear or something. Or maybe vice versa, I have no idea. I can do this again. That's satisfying. I don't know why it's very satisfying. Let's check out the... So, it looks like full is... It doesn't have... When it's full, the... I don't know what those wine glasses are called, the champagne wine, I'm just gonna call it wine glass. The wine glass, it's got like, it's all full and the cork's not on there. And it, when it's empty, uh, the bottle is empty, uh, the, the glass is empty and the cork is on. Alright. And the computer is the Windows 1.1, 1 1.0 box that it came in. That's just 20th. And then the documents is on the desktop right here it's the 20th you can't see it because of the things in the way it's a shortcut icon got the new the new that's working in background I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's always working in background if it's in the um there we go this is the working here oh it looks like it's gonna work let's see but my computer does not look like this it looks like Windows XP, Windows 20th anniversary. So this is for Windows 20th, the original one. Should be this one. There's no language pack, that's what I heard. I don't, it's because it's just regular Windows. I guess I am ripping off most of my lines from a, another video. Please wait. Okay, that looks like that worked. Is that... What is this? I don't know what that is. I, I'm just going to... No. Oh yes, accept. Get out. Let's get out of this. So it should just be that. That's it. So we've got the, the bottle here. So this should work. See, this one's working. I don't know why. It's the Windows 10 not working. So you can compare this. Wow. I don't, don't want to stretch it. Empty recycle bin. Can do it on here. Still have it. That is really satisfying. Uh, the, my, my computer hasn't changed. I don't know why. Oh, there it is. I don't know what's what's up with that. So let's see. The theme. If you're not, if you don't know who the hell I am. You're just a random person looking at this stuff. Then I'm sorry. This is not the right video for you. Cause I'm just talking. I'm just talking trash for this entire time. So how the hell do I see this? So this is how fast this goes, and it stays like that. Compare it to this. I think this one's a slightly faster, but that's still pretty good. It looks pretty much exactly like it, and you can see these um weirds are not underlined. Let's restart. Hopefully we can hear the startup sound. Classic. Shut down sound, so nothing changed there. This classic, let's see. You can see the cursor. Man, that sound is amazing. That is spectacular, that sound. Alright, guys, so I guess that's it for this one. I hope you guys like, comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye. Have a champagne. Bye. Thank you.